posture is all about putting your body in proper alignment so you can move more efficiently and healthier. Ryan's gonna serve as my model as we go over what proper posture is from the ground up. We're gonna start at the feet level. Ideally, we're gonna want our feet about hip width apart, facing forward as much as they can be. Next, we're gonna go to the knees. When landing in common form, we're often landing with a straight knee, and this inhibits our ability to absorb shock when we're first making impact on the ground. So we're gonna wanna transition to landing on a soft bent knee instead. Ryan? Really good way to sort of show the difference between landing on a locked out knee with common form and landing with a slightly bent knee here with good form is to do this little contrast drill. And so we'll start just by hopping in place. Take a couple of quick hops. You'll notice your body is naturally landing with a nice soft bent knee. Not a ton of impact coming up the rest of the chain. But if we switch and we do a small little bunny hop landing on our heel with a locked out knee, this is gonna feel really, really different. So we'll do it together in three, two, one. Really not as comfortable as those first hops. You can feel that impact radiate all the way up the chain. So now we have our feet hip width apart, facing forward, and we know we want soft bent knees. Next, we're gonna go over our hips. We want our hips in alignment with our body. This is gonna allow us to use our glute, which is the strongest muscle in our lower body. We're gonna use the tool called a posture reset, and Ryan's gonna show you what that is to get our hips in alignment. So to do a posture reset, we'll go ahead and clasp our hands out in front of us like this. Turn your palms up towards the sky. You'll feel your shoulder blades come together in the back, and then just drop the arms at the sides. What you'll notice is that your glutes are, and your hips are sitting out back behind you, and you do this posture reset, it's going to bring those hips in line with the rest of your body, like Anna was referencing. Next, we're going to talk about shoulders and arms. Our shoulders, we want open and relaxed. This will allow for our lungs to fill to their fullest capacity, making it easier to utilize oxygen when running and reduce the chance of being fatigued. Arms, we're gonna to wanna to hinge from our shoulders, not at the elbows. We wanna keep our elbows about 90 degrees. You can see that Ryan's keeping his arms on the same side of his body, and his arm swing is relatively compact and relaxed. His hands are moving from heart to hip level. Lastly, we're gonna go over the head. We want our head looking forward and not bobbing around, keeping the chin parallel with the ground. 